What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach and if you want the most accurate video on a guy's true intentions, on if a guy is actually going to commit or, uh, to you or not, this is the video for you so let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is consistency but I want to let you know what it is and what it looks like. So when I talk about consistency, I mean something that is sustainable, something that you guys can maintain over the long run. That means if you're talking all day, every day, and a guy is blowing up your phone and he's wanting to do 15 uh, FaceTimes a day, that's not sustainable. That's going to die off, okay? Um, at the same time, inconsistency does not mean uh, you know, okay, I'm going to talk to you one day, then we don't talk, talk to you one day, then we don't talk, talk to you one day, then we don't talk. That's not inconsistent because if you guys do that over a long period and it's sustainable, that's what you guys should do. What I talk about, or at least I guess the, the better word is sporadicness. You do not want sporadicness. High value women do not accept that. So what does that look like? A guy being very hot and then a guy being cold. A guy reaching out and do you know and and having a good time with you on the date and blowing up your phone and then going three days without hearing from you or hearing from each other. That sporadicness, we do not deal with that. When that happens, that is the most clearest sign that a guy is not um, looking for a relationship with you. Why is that? Because a guy who truly likes you doesn't put himself in a position to lose you. Number one, number two, I always say that the most accurate equation. Okay, I always say this, uh, on if a guy likes you or not, is he consistently investing his resources into you over time? If he's doing those four things, that's great. But again, consistency means something that is sustainable between you two, not sporadicness. Number two, is the relationship linear or exponential? And what I mean by this is, when you're in a relationship, ladies, who do you think it benefits more if you just go on date one, date two, date three, date four, date five, but it's actually not progressing. The number's progressing, but the rapport, the relationship, the progress isn't. You, want, you don't want it to move like this. You want it to move like this. And w w uh, you want it to be exponential. You want it to literally take off. And the reason for that is, the takeoff, at least on the guy's end, okay, means I really found something that I like. I don't want to F it up. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to put myself in a position to lose her. I don't want to play games. I don't want to this, don't want to that. That's a very good sign. You want a guy who takes off. And again, this is because he realizes, oh man, this is an awesome girl. I, I really like her. This is a great thing that we have. Um, so on and so forth. However, when it's linear, it usually means two things. Number one, it means he's not sure about you, okay? Um, but he, but, but he's keeping you around uh, because he doesn't want to. Uh, men, men are very risk avoidant. He doesn't want to cut you off, okay? Because then he loses all. He might regret it, right? He loses everything. You're not in the picture anymore. But he doesn't also want to transition to really a relationship because again. That's your risk for him because he's not sure he wants a relationship. So if we could just take it day by day or week by week or month by month, okay, cool. Now, we don't do that. The second reason it's not a good thing is you don't know if a guy is... Um, if a guy's actually looking for a relationship or if he's just looking to have fun. When it's taken off like this, on top of the precursors of guess, I guess of him saying, yeah, I'm looking for a relationship, yeah, I want something serious, and he's not love bombing you, it is good that it takes off. But if, if he doesn't say, I want a relationship, and then you're going date by date, what happens is you become very hopeful. You hope that, you know, you or you, not even hope, you assume that you guys are on the same page when he realizes, uh, I'm not sure. So you don't want linear dates. You want it to be exponential. And to give you a kind of a timeline on this, you don't feel the exponential growth until I'd say date four or five. Then you can start to see it take off. Um, and then it just kind of you know goes up from there and then kind of maintains up here. But if you're at date four, five, six, and it just feels like date four, five, or six, and there's no depth, that's a problem, ladies. Now, the great thing with this is I actually have a guy that goes into extreme detail 
on how much a guy actually likes you. I mean, like you can tell what number you are from a one to 10 in his eyes, okay? Because in the guide, I go over like the characteristics, the way he acts um, accordingly based on the number that you are. So if you're interested in that, link is down below. Um, I'll leave it in the description also to check it out. Again, it's really important to know where you stand in the, in the relationship with the guy so you don't waste your time. Number three, he's trying to entertain you while not progressing the relationship. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but it, it kind of goes off number two. A guy is risk avoidant. If I can have my cake and eat it too, I'm going to. I always tell my clients, and this is a great phrase, a great quote to live by, like, trust me, when it comes to men especially, you will be astonishingly good at predicting the behaviors of others if you always assume that they're acting in their own best interest. If a guy is not progressing the relationship towards a relationship, okay, through depth, rapport, getting to know you, um, threading your lives to get all that, meet, meeting friends and family, whatever. If he's not doing that, but he's still entertaining you, you should assume 100% that it's for the assets. What else is it for? What else is it for? Unless you're, unless you're like cleaning his house. Okay, well, that's, I guess that's an asset. But if it's not towards a relationship, then what else do you have to offer? It's benefits. It's benefits to him, meaning validation, sexual favors, you know, sex, blowjobs, intimacy of any type. Um, uh, it could be an ego boost. I already said validation. It could be security. It, it could be filling a void until the right woman comes along. That's not you. You don't want to do that. If it is not progressing towards a relationship, but you're still in the picture, that's a problem. He is draining you of resources. He is using you until something better comes along. Number four is he's taking you for granted. And what I mean by this is men are very resourceful. If I can have you come over, if let's say my goal is to hook up, okay? If I can have you come over and hook up with me just by saying, hey, you want to come over and, and cut and watch a movie? If I can get you to do that, instead of taking you out to a nice dinner, paying for it, sitting down there and getting to know all that shit, okay, just a date. If I can do the the, the previous thing, I'm going to. I'm, I'm just going to have you come over. A guy's not going to waste his resources on you if he doesn't have to, okay? So what that looks like is a guy who is putting forth uh, less effort, a guy who is not consistent, a guy who is trying to cut corners. If you're talking to a dude who's always asking you to come over and a guy who is not investing his resources into you, time, energy, effort, money, things like that, then we have a problem. You're talking to a dude who wants the assets. He has no intention on a relationship. And number five, this one's really important, is threading. Is he actually threading you into his life? After date four or five, you know, if, if you guys are like relationship material, you really like each other, he's going to start threading you into his lives. You're going to have more time in his life. You might start leaving things over. You might meet his friends or family. Maybe not after four dates, but I mean, before a relationship, I would say if you're on date six, seven, eight, and, 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 you enter, and he introduces you to his buddies, that's a good sign. But when you're talking to somebody and you're just a weekend chick or you're just going over there. And even though you guys have a good, I have so many clients tell me, oh yeah, but yeah, yeah, we have sex, but it's not just that. We, we also talk and get to know each other and hang out. Okay, whatever. I, I, hey, I'll talk to you too if you sleep with me. Like <laughs> that's every guy, okay? So you want a guy to thread you into his life, to make decisions with you in mind. If that is not happening, then he has no intentions on being with you long term. It kind of goes back to what I said with the third or fourth point, which is, you know, he's just keeping you around for the resource or, or the, the assets that you offer until something better comes along because guys are risk avoidant. If I don't have to cut you off, right, then I won't. If I don't have to get in a relationship with you because I'm not sure about you yet, then I won't. I'll just keep you right here in the middle where I can have my cake and eat it too, okay? 